having yeah, it does. nine switches? The only problem is, is we don't have ten fingers. Okay. Oh. The reason we don't is because my left hand, I hope I don't make a mess by getting it all over me. Okay, that's my left. And that's my right. <laughs> I can relate to say about palmistry. Palmistry? <laughs> so you can tell a lot about people by their thumbs. By their thumbs? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I love patterns, scrolls, fingerprint stuff like that. You know, I, I love how this all connects because it does connect all that. Um, the reason you don't have ten fingers is because it would be one, two, three, four, five, and that thumb would not be there, it would be over here, and it would be six, seven, eight, nine, ten, because these thumbs are opposals, they're mirrors, you have an axis, this is your axis, you have bilateral symmetry, where the half is a mirror of the right, you know in the science museums, if you stand in front of the mirror, it looks like your whole person, even half of you isn't there though, okay. So what I showed already was that by halving was powers of ten. Because the base ten system, the decimal system, does not have ten numbers. How many numbers do we have? We have nine. That's because zero is not a number. It's an absence. Okay? It is the whole in the vortex. Okay? And we'll be seeing about that shortly. So, thus... Any base system, the base 10, is always one number less than the number of that base. Thus, the base 10 is modular 9. That's an accepted premise in all mathematics. Okay? But what I'm teaching about is three colors. I'm teaching about blue. I'm teaching about pink. I'm teaching about green. These are called family number groups. Okay? A family number group, there are three of them, is always separated by the number three, or six. See the three or six here? Separating everything, and the nine too. Everyone see that? The pink is all the same family number group. They're all the same color. One plus three is four, four plus three is seven, and seven plus three is ten is one. Okay, so you're back to one again. You're going to have 13, 16. It's just going to keep on repeating over and over again. What's important is where these family number groups are occurring. It's like a monster. It's like a rotary car engine. Do you have a question? Well, I just kind of know something here. I'm an astrologer, so I got other uh, things that each of the numbers signify. But I was seeing just in the Christian anthology, three is like the Holy Trinity. And then like the, you know, the Father, Son, Holy Ghost. And the six is like the, you know, the 666, like the earth matrix. One spirit, one's earth, and the nine, I guess, is kind of like the bridge in between them. With the, yeah, it's a Sagittarian. So, I'm learning from you. I, I've never studied all these things. It's interesting. Well, it's a, the it's connections are real. Man. Hmm? It's known for man. Six. Yeah, and the three is like the and, and, life is actually and re for man. man Man doing a six 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 is trying to be God, which is Saturn. not. Which is a chemical formula for petroleum. The subscription is symbol for Saturn. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's I'm also sorry. The mind of the computer. <laughs> so. Exxon's gonna get you. <laughs> the Valdez is looking for you. <laughs> yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. That's what we talked about. Hmm? That's what we were talking about yesterday. Was the the six and the nine. How they all connect and relate? Well, they're connected to three, six, and nine. They connect through the invisible nine. Yeah. 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 Um, I'm going to really drill you guys on three, sixes, and nines in a little bit for your information. They're going to really be put to work. Okay. So, so three is a, a mirror of six. So instead of looking, adding 1 plus 3 is 4, 4 plus 3 is 7, we're going to do it backwards. We're going to go 1 plus 6, but it's going to equal a 7. 7 plus 6 is 13, which is 4. 
and 4 plus 6 is 10, which is 1. If I go forwards with 3s, I can go four backwards with 6s. Did you do that again? Yes. Okay. 1 plus 6 is 7. 7 plus 6 is 13, which is 4. And 4 plus 6 is 10, which is 1. Okay. So 3 is one way, and 6 is the reverse way. Okay. Let's do, two, let's do blues. 2 plus 3 is 5. 5 plus 3 is 8. 8 plus 3 is 11, which equals 2. Okay, we'll go backwards. 2 plus 6 is 8. 8 plus 6 is 5. And 5 plus 6 is 11, which is 2. So, I don't know how to say it right, but somehow these are like the furthest most extremes is how I tend to think of it. Because they all go somewhere. The pink ones all... She's having an aha over here. <laughs> well, I'm just so happy because I know it's just the whole time and, and I just never figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Baha'i too. Oh, you are? Okay. Well, dreams and the blue ones are... You can, you can use our, our favorite new Baha'i saying. It's not a low pop. Okay, seven. A low a pop. Four. He said it, I didn't. They oscillate. He used the big oscillate word. That's the power yeah. point. That's yeah. the you power point. You had adjacent 1 plus 2 is 3, 2 plus 4 is 6. Yeah. They are oscillating. 4 plus 8 is 3. Yeah. They are oscillating back and forth. They're heavy duty. Right. Okay. You don't ever get a 9, do you? You never see the 9. It's always invisible. That's right. That's, that's the power of this math because we don't have it but it'll show it by the angle and the ratio, the displacement. This energy here is displacing everything. See how the green here matches the green here? Okay, but let's not go that far. It's ahead. like displacement, like color. It's the way color works, right? It totally polarizes color. This is the color wheel. Right. Right, and the music Well, scale. I don't know what I mean, but I know that I've heard it somewhere where, you know, it's like whatever color you're wearing is actually the absence of that color is oh, what right. you're seeing. Right. Is that what it is all about? Kind of like that? Like black isn't really black. Black is all the colors. Black, yeah. Black is the absence. Black is the white. Or white is the white. Right. Right. Black is the absence. But white, they always told me, you can't have white. White, white can't be. But it's all the colors. It's white. You get white. light, then you get the all the colors, but then if you do it with pigment, it's the exact opposite. See, black and white are really the same thing. Hmm. Or they're <laughs> distinguished by the polarity, actually. Someone finally explained it to it's me. It's saying it's the becoming. Yeah. I'm an artist. Right? That's some pretty art to share with you. Okay. I, I love artists. Um, the Baha'i writings, they say artists have the greatest... Um, encompassment over mankind, not the higher learning Occident, but rather the artists will be the ones who will educate mankind through beauty. The saying is, art is the best, beauty is the best teacher, and I believe that. Um, okay, we were, we were brought by Charlie to the oscillation of three and six and to the PowerPoint. There's no escaping now, so we'll do it. Three doubled to six. Six doubled is twelve which is 3. 12 doubled is 24, which is 6. 24 doubled is 48, which is 12, which is 3. Constantly oscillating. Never ends. Okay, only one or the other. That's called movement back and forth. This duality is called what? The yin and yang, correct? Okay, you have the yin and yang on your shirt there. All right. Do you want to say something, no, John? Continuous. I know you are. So what you've done, when you have symmetry, when you drop the the, you drop the top off, the edges off. You what edges? Have the top. What the nine? Oh, that's good. No. What top? Mm -hmm. Okay, you take. You see, the point of symmetry is the nine and, the, and down to the middle. This is the axis. Yeah, the axis. No, wait, 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 wait. The axis. There is an invisible line. Right. 
axis. And there's your symmetry. It's an invisible spindle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because you're still moving off of. That's incredible. That's. Okay. I I'm seeing something, but I'm not sure I understand what. I'm, it's like you've got you've got the whole way that things are unfolded. Yeah. Nine times three to twenty-seven, which is nine. Right. nine times which is it all, it all respects that of the axis. Yeah, it, really is, it is. It is the mm. perfect, perfect diagram of Petrical. the way things are. <laughs> <laughs> mm. All right, Judy. Yeah. I'm going to be mean to you. No, you can stay there. I'm just trying. <laughs> How many parts are there in the yin and yang? One part. One part. <laughs> You're trying to play <laughs> safe or something <laughs> like that? <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a good answer. Okay. And how did it become one then? I'll take that answer. We'll go along that theme. I'll learn something with all of us. Okay, so we have this perimeter. It's called the world boundary condition. Is that what you mean by one? It's a whole, it's a unit. In other words, one it's, is unity. It's, it's neither one or the other. It's, it's the becoming and the, it's the ebb and the flow. It's the, it's the way, the nature of... <laughs> but you've got to be, you got to be real detail oriented. You've got to tear it into its rudiments, right? You have to break it into its parameters. So I, I agree with you. It is the ebb and the flow, the alpha and omega, the beginning and end. It's okay, which is right a there. Strip it it's is. a Mobius strip. It's infinity. Okay, but the Mobius strip is the one, two, four, eight, seven, five, right here. Okay, um, I I could have been doing a demonstration for everybody, show everyone what a Mobius is, but we're not going to try and, <laughs> and do that. <laughs> I, you know, I was when I read the Tao of Physics. This is Judy? why I read that. Judy. That this is not the Mobius strip. The three and six is not the Mobius strip. No, that's not what I meant. I was I was do, doing a configuration. Thing okay. Too. This but is not the yin and yang because, yeah. is not the Mobius strip. I was playing with playing with you. Oh. It is a three part thing. It is a three part thing. Yes. Oh, because it says it. Oh, that's <laughs> <laughs> It is the, the energy, the synergy is the energy, which is the S-curve. The S-curve is the number nine. It is your third part. Oh, I never noticed that. Yeah. It's the world boundary condition. And what it does is that um, when you learn about these world boundary conditions, and you can you have control over superconductivity, and you have a control over flight through the universe, everything. It's, it's, and this is what we're learning about right now. So what is happening is is that the three parts of the yin and yang, you only see the yin and yang oscillating back and forth. But the yin and yang does not connect the pyramid on the base. You have the nine in the center, okay, which is the control. Okay, um, family number groups is where we were. Yes, Judy. Okay. So, just because, because we better, do, we better cons consolidate everything we've done and be thorough, here's a multiplication table, one through nine. Judy, you're going to get to be the assistant. Okay. Is this Vanna White kind of thing? Is this, is this a what? Vanna White kind of thing. What's it? <laughs> Vanna. Yes, yeah, precisely. Um, is this the Wheel of Fortune? No, it's the Wheel of Fortune. Who's Big Bird? This guy doesn't watch TV. Yeah. I'm sorry, I like Yeah, I don't watch TV. It's my, my secrets revealed. I'm brainwashed. Yeah. I know. Zero TV. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to do is we know one and eight are perfect mirrors. Remember the mirror of the number of the multiplication series, which is beginning with one. The last number before 9 is going to be what its mirror is, its polar. So we're going to take 8, no, not 8, we're going to take 1, but we're going to know that 8 is going to be the mirror. So let's just flip them all, just flip them all right over. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 9. 
So what we have is we have